After being knocked down and less than an inch from death, one Valentine officer is back up on their feet again, living to recount the horrifying details of the event and her road to recovery. Our Lauren Bentley joins us now live in studio with more in this week's edition of Show Us Something Good. Lauren, this incident, though, it was far from good. You're right, but it does have a happy ending. Through freezing temperatures, heavy snow, and being crushed by an industrial vehicle, somehow Officer Jasmine Haith made it through. Here's her story. During a severe storm in Valentine, tragedy struck. Pretty much everyone there thought she was dead. Officer Jasmine Hafes was within centimeters of dying. Another quarter inch and it would have broken my skull. She was on the scene trying to save a life when her own flashed before her eyes. My dispatcher called me out to help out on a medical call. Within seconds, she was crushed. And at that point, I was getting out of my vehicle and when I looked up, I could see the payloader and it was backing up and Jasmine walked behind it. There's a front end loader on top of me and all I could think of was roll to the middle. I ended up, you know, just a little bit short. It ended up catching my arm and and uh, the tire went up my left arm here and drove up and, and it was just on the back of my head. While racing the clock to save her life, emergency crews jumped into action, but realized the quickest way to get her help was to be life lighted, an option heavy snow made impossible. So we finally decided after several attempts that we're going to have to take her by ground. Hafe said it took five hours to get to the hospital in Norfolk where her injuries were assessed. They were so gruesome, I had to blur some of them. It basically scalped me. Uh, several different broken bones. Uh, it was it was broken from my shoulder, up my elbow, wrists, pretty much every bone in my arm was broken. It looks like a great white shark chewed her arm up. After surgery, she began the long process of healing from the traumatic accident. It was unreal. I just, I don't I know. believe it. Yeah. It's like, no, it can't happen. It's the last thing you would think would happen to her. She said she had support that stretch from across her community. We constantly and had people visiting um, and my law enforcement family as well from all over the state. But she also had love sent from across the nation. We received cards from all over the country. Um, I think we there was almost all 50 states we got a card from. Hafe said this kept her motivated to continue pushing for progress. I am so proud of her. She's gone above and beyond. She's a very strong will driven woman. Now she's back to work serving the community that came together to save her. I'm, I'm just ready to get back to the road and, and to normal life and to be able to be out driving in my car and waving at the people that I, you know, my community members that I absolutely adore. They've really carried me through this. Jasmine still has a lot of healing to do, but she says every day she's closer to being back on patrol. And Colleen, that just shows an ounce of how resilient she really is. No kidding. Lauren, thank you for that report.